Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online and as always don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. In today's tutorial we're going to look at Lambda one more time and this time we're going to look at using it inside a list and inside a dictionary. So let's get started. Let's create a list. We're going to have a variable representing that list. i got to be on it. Math is equal to a list. Square brackets indicate that. And we're going to do Lambda A colon so a is our argument and then we're going to do a oops a plus two all right and then we'll do lambda a and then we'll do a minus two and then we'll do lambda a colon a times two and then we'll do lambda one more time and do a colon a divided by two and close out our list and we're going to go ahead and loop through and we're going to pass a number into our argument and we're going to either add, subtract, multiply and divide. So we'll do a 4e in math. All right, we'll do print e and then we're going to pass the argument of 10 to that function, lambda's uh, function, hit return. And we get 12, 8, 20, and 5. All right. So that's one way to use lambda inside a list. Another way would be to, um, we could call uh, a certain f lambda function in here. We can do uh, print and we could do uh, math. And let's do, uh, we'll call the f uh, number one index, which would be our second one. And we'll pass 20 and hit return. Uh, I forgot something. What did I forget? That. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So we got uh, print, and we get 18. So we're calling the first one divide or subtracting. I'm sorry, by 20 by 2, and we get 18. All right. Well, one more we should look at is using lambda inside a dictionary. Um, so let's do uh, math again. Let me clear my screen so you guys can see this better. Math. And we'll set equal to, and we're going to do a curly brace. And we'll do, um, we'll do add colon lambda like this, a colon a plus two, and then our comma, and sub for subtract, and lambda. And a colon a minus two, and then we'll do multi for multiply our colon and then lambda, and we'll do a colon a asterisk two, and then we'll do uh, div for division, and we'll do lambda a colon a divided by two. All right, and curly brace to close it out, and then we'll just do math, and in there we're going to call our key, so it'll be add, like that, and then we'll pass our argument, and I'll use 10, and hit return, and we get 12. So that's using lambda inside a data set, uh, like a dictionary, a list, a tuple, so, you know, lambda gives us a lot of flexibility. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.